truck's been sitting for a while. To the point that uh, the wiper blades just like disintegrated. So the blade's still here a little bit, but there's a lip that goes down there uh, that is actually the blade gone. So I turned the, when I set up the truck or got the truck running again. I flipped the switch without even thinking about this, and uh, I'm just lucky that there's rubber here and didn't scratch the heck out of the windshield. Anyway, I want to change these blades out. Just wanted to show you, not rocket science, uh, pretty straightforward stuff. All right, so this is an older style. Uh, it's basically this arm here, and you can take this whole thing off if you wanted to by pulling this out. Maybe I'll show you that. But you pull this up, and on the arm, I'll just do that for now. There's a, it's called a J hook, so it goes like this and over. So it's shaped, yeah, like a J, upside down J, like this. So it's got a retainer in it, and I'll show you that uh, once I take this off. And there's a clip that just holds this in place. So this just slides on and goes from there. So on he on this version of wiper, there's a there's a little tab here. I'll try to get you in a little bit closer on the other side. Um, or maybe I'll be able to get you in here where you see this right there, that tab. Uh, let's see if I can do it this way. If you push it down like this, it should release off of that J slide this way. So let's see if we can do that. Slide it out like that. Okay. So that's the typical J-hook. And there's a hole there. That holds it in. I'm going to take this off and give you a closer look at it. Go grab a plier, show you how that works. Okay, so I picked up. I'm just basically pulling that up like this. Okay, and that slides down into this groove right here. Okay, and you can see this is uh, this has got uh, teeth in it, and they match up with this, and that's what makes this thing go. Wah, 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 wah. All right, and then all this does is retain it by going past this and holds it in there as a collar. So, uh, I'll give you a nice close up of how this is set up. Uh, so yeah, that's a typical J-hook, and you can see there's, uh, it's got a spot there, that's how the wiper gets retained, so you slide it in, and then it gets retained, and I'll show you, this will go on top, under, and you can see, as you pull it down, it snaps into place, and that's retained, and then this has to go up, this little thing going up like this, just allows it to be pulled out, there you go not good but also if you take this off you don't want to put it here because what will happen is the wiper motor moves only a certain amount and it'll actually go off of the window so when you put this back on you want to make sure it's lined up back where it should be over here not down too low not up too high so you want to clock it to make sure it's where it needs to be and you'll notice this being up prevents this from hitting the window and that is so you can change the wiper and then do that. Speaking of new wipers, I'm going to throw this away. So what do I got? I have went to the parts store, basically said the make model year, had different options. Of course you go with the $10 ones or the more expensive ones. I got the better ones. Direct fit beams. Now I do kind of remember and we'll find out. These are nicer because they don't have the, the they're considered nicer because they don't have the bridge and all that kind of stuff that uh, ice can get built up in. Uh, but I do remember them maybe not working very well in this truck. So, we'll see. Now, with this, with this truck, 
with this windshield and this setup, both blades are 18s. They're the same. Uh, so no big deal there. You can't mess them up. A lot of cars will have different, uh, a thicker one on this side and a smaller one on the other side. But this is like the newer style for, um, for the cars nowadays. You can see it's got the same kind of setup. Now I'm not going to tear this one apart, obviously. But we're basically going to slide the J-hook over here, pull it back until it locks, and we should be good. See if it moves back and forth. It does not, so it's good. And then I have to put this back down. It's not all the way down yet. I'm sorry, it's down. I need to lock it into place now that I have that there because I was holding it off the window so it didn't scratch the window. So now I'm just going to you know, press that back in. Shake like a leaf. For whatever reason, I don't know. Should just slide straight. Should just slide straight down. It's just a uh, board and back. And make sure it's clocked right. this I just wanted to show you how that worked there we go This is what I get for showing you. No good deed. Wow, it just falls on. I'm an upright. So this was putting pressure against it, which wasn't allowed to go in. So I just go like that, and then it pushes right down. I'm dumb. Sorry. So. Now it's in there, right? I was gonna say it shouldn't be that hard. It looks good. I'm gonna go over to the other side, give you a different angle to it, and uh, we'll get that one switched out. All right, so on this side, it's a different angle, but I also just wanna roll through it uh, without explaining or doing any of that stuff, because I explained it on the other side, just so you see how quick this actually is, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna do this. Push that down. Done. That's how quick it is to change the blade, especially on these old ones. But most of the, most cars, it's real simple. Up a little bit. Cleaned up in here since I had the opportunity. This has been sitting for a while, so I don't want it to be. When I do the wipers, I didn't want it to grind dirt in. 